All right, Pisces placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Let's see what messages we have for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. When it comes to their love life, what is going on? What is the message that those seeking need to hear? Four cards, please. I don't know if I want to take this. Okay. Um. <sighs> oh. All right, Pisces. Damn it. Okay. So you got third party. You got proposal, faded meeting, and soulmate. Some of you guys could be in a third in a third party situation. Okay. There could be a faded meeting with a soulmate. We have many soulmates throughout our lifetime. This could lead to something um, uh, something deeper. Okay, so let's just get four cards. I'm sorry, I'm not going to do that just because I don't feel like it. All right. So, wow. <laughs> energy is energy, y'all. Whatever message is meant to come out will come out. So, um, all right, so you got fear, afraid, uneasy, suspicion, and scared. You got spiritual awakening. You got truth, okay, surrender, and wedding. So, again, the proposal, the wedding is still there, but some of you guys need to surrender. Some of you guys already know the truth, or you're going through, you know, some type of an awakening. I don't know what the fear is about. I don't know if you guys are what you're fearing but let's see what is the heart's hidden secrets please for pisces we'll clarify in just a minute all right heart's hidden secrets so you got breaking point final straw overwhelmed you got healing releasing purifying and cleansing commitment is still out on the table y'all and soulmates, again, I can't even make this shit up. Okay, so some of you guys could be committing to a soulmate or there could be a soul contract here that could lead to marriage promises, fidelity. I feel like some of you guys are reaching your breaking point with something or you're, you know, coming, reaching a final straw. I'm ready to release and purify your energy and heal. Okay, or someone else's. All right. Why is fear here for Pisces? Why is fear here? Literally the nine of swords. So some of you guys need to release the fear, the stress, the anxiety. Okay. Or you guys are feeling anxious. The moon. Yeah. Some of you guys, this is fear, y'all. <laughs> fear is fear. Okay. A fear of the unknown. Okay, so you guys are four pentacles. You're holding back. You're holding back from love, y'all. Show me spiritual awakening. Just seeing the ace of pentacles, seven of wands. So ace of wands. So there's a brand new beginning here. Three of swords in the reverse. Nice. Three swords in the reverse. So letting go of heartbreak, physically starting something new, surrendering to love possibly. Five of swords and ten of cups. Okay. Spiritual awakening, enlightenment. What are you being enlightened to? What are you being enlightened to? The three of pentacles. the magician that you have the skills to create what it is that you desire pisces crow create what did i just say <laughs> co-create procreate whatever okay some of you guys are manifesting like a collaboration here or you guys have what it takes you guys have the talents the skills you have the wand the cup the sword and the pentacle here 
in order to have a new beginning and release whatever pain you've been through. And maybe even releasing a third party. Okay, show me or a third party situation. Truth. Tell me about truth. The Emperor Aries energy. Truth. It's time to take control of a situation passes. Why is this Seven of Cups here? Four of Wands. Tell me about the King of Pentacles. Tell me about the emperor. Okay, King of Wands. I feel like there's someone here who you have conflict with. I don't know if you're in a commitment with this person or you see this person as your wish fulfillment. And there's someone else in your energy field, Pisces, who wants to either come towards you or that you should be going towards. Show me surrender. You guys have a choice here. You have a major choice to make. There's there's one situation that y'all need to surrender, okay? And spirit is trying to guide you towards something new. Show me wedding. Wow. Ace of Cups, Ten of Cups, Page of Swords, Four of Swords. There could be a very healing connection here, Pisces. I don't know if you see it or this is someone else who sees you healing. But there could be a very loving connection here. Someone, someone could have also been confused or conflicted here about commitment, but I feel like um, what's the page of wands? Whoever, if someone was confused about com commitment or conflicted about commitment, someone here is now clear, clear that they want to give to a situation and stand up and fight for something, fight for a connection. Okay. Um, okay. 
and you're holding back out of fear let me go over this again yeah this is like a new cycle y'all a soulmate connection where there's gonna this is like the completion of one cycle and starting a new cycle where there's love there's i swear we just read about something like this but this is a past life soulmate <sighs> There's a past life soulmate here that's being manifested. Someone here has gone through an awakening. It's time to let go of the heartbreak or... I mean, if someone else... Someone, someone here is surrendering. You know, if this is someone who kind of like ruined their reputation with another person and now that other person has fear surrounding this connection the other person who may have ruined their reputation in the soulmate connection is now clear on what it is that they want i do feel like um there could have been some procrastination or someone who was feeling conflicted about what it is that would like completely emotionally fulfill them but i feel like someone here is now clear on what that is Tell me about the Ten of Cups, the Hanging Man, and the Hair Font. So this could have, this connection, this commitment could have been delayed, Pisces, for whatever reason. Maybe you've reached your breaking point, or someone knows you've reached your breaking point. This is like someone wants to commit to their soulmate here. Someone's gone through an awakening. They're surrendering to this connection. They see the truth now. Or you do. So, I mean. I don't know what else to tell you guys. Someone here is wanting commitment. Spirit is guiding someone towards. Spirit is guiding one person towards a connection and the other person is withdrawing from it. All right, let's get a few signs. Oh, you got Gemini, Libra, Virgo. Those could be their top three or yours. You got Capricorn, Capricorn, Virgo. Someone here may have double Capricorn in their chart. You got Aquarius, Taurus, Taurus, double, double Taurus with Aquarius in their chart. You got Aquarius, Leo, Virgo. Aries, Taurus, Aquarius. Mm, Capricorn, Sag, Sag. Someone here could be a double Sag. Uh, I'm going to re-roll that one. Show me. Er, Aries, Pisces, Sag. Aries, Pisces, Sag. Taurus, Libra, Taurus. You guys got a lot of... Cancer, Sag, Scorpio. Um, Virgo, Libra, Libra. Someone here may be a double Libra with Virgo in their chart or Libra, Virgo, Cusper. You got um, Libra, Pisces, Scorpio. Libra, Pisces, Scorpio, Aquarius, Sag, Pisces. Double Sag with Gemini. Sag Taurus Cappy. Pisces Cappy Scorpio. Aquarius Gemini Virgo. All right. So, Pisces. Someone is clear about something now. I feel like the feminine energy is the one that has fear surrounding this so whether you're the whether you're the feminine cross watcher or the pisces feminine could be you pisces with this cancer pisces in this queen of cups here you may be the one that's holding back out of fear that's a card i was clarifying here someone here is going through a spiritual awakening wanting to manifest a new beginning wanting to collaborate you know Leave some type of heartbreak or heal some type of broken heart or heartbreak. Letting go of a third party if there was one. 
someone is clear-minded about something they want to come in they want to give to this they want to defend this connection they're they want to take action they're um what's the right word um hmm, i don't know either way this is someone who knows the truth and i feel like they could have been procrastinating due to either outside conflict conflict with others maybe there was people who had opposing opinions but somebody here wants to re reveal the truth about whatever conflict or confusion that there was and they want to like this is someone who i feel like they may have kind of fucked up their reputation in a sense or they weren't really working on this connection now they want to surrender to it Okay. okay i know you guys are pro i mean some of you guys i don't know how y'all feel i don't know everybody that watches but i do see some of your guys com comments and some of you guys are like eh, meh, meh. i don't want this person back well maybe this ain't for you this is someone who i feel like is surrendering either someone yeah that's crazy i didn't even realize that but you have reconciliation in the relationship here so i don't know someone here may want This energy has been strong all week, so I can't help that. It is what it is for you guys. Um, yeah, somebody wants this connection. Someone's obsessed with like having a new beginning in love, or they strongly desire it while the other one strongly fucking fears it. <laughs> oh, Lord. What you guys going to do? I don't know. Y'all let me know in the comments. I love you guys and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.